afternoon, my YouTube friends. It's Mum Wood again from Orchids and Garden in England. And I've just come upstairs, Keith's watching the Grand Prix. And uh, I'm giving you an update on the grow room because um, my orchids have had to uh, really, in some ways, fend for themselves for the last four weeks. And uh, But so far, they're doing very well. Uh, what can I say? Who have fared the best? Well, I would think the ones that have fared the best are the cool growers. Because, of course, we went into cool weather. And um, and I've got the big fan on. Sorry, let me just take this one light out here. Uh, we've got the big fan on. You see, that's the oscillating fan. I've lifted that up. And, uh, and of course, I've got the noisy fan on up there, which I do apologise because... Um, I've not got the big uh, footstool I stand on, that's in the other room, and you can hear it, well I can hear it, uh, so I do apologise about that, but um, no, let's have a look. Some of these, these are the catacetums, and some of these are the uh, walkerianas, and you see down there, which one is it, there with the root, that nice big walkeriana there, and look at this. Of course, this is uh, this is one of the um, which ones? This we're looking at um, catacetum pileatum, that one. But look at this. Do you remember? Do you remember? I had a bat bulb, didn't I? Is it going to focus? And I had it in one of these little clay pots and blow me down. Look at that. So all I'm doing with that is laying it in that little bit of moss there. And then the roots develop like here. Can you see on this one? Can you see? Where are we? That one. If roots develop like that, then I'll be very, very pleased. Now look. Let's go in the window. This is Elsie Bermansel Palm. We've still got that sheath. And he's probably blind, I've no idea. I don't miss. Here's the other one, Pastoral Innocence. That's probably a blind sheath. And let's just have a look. We've got roots. Can you see? Now these big ones, of course, because they're bare rooted. Um, I do have to water these, but I, on reflection, I do believe that the orchids are quite light. We're leaving them alone. And um, so they've had to go days without water, uh, you know. And there's only one casualty, and that I'm so upset about that, that because Mark sent me a, a, a species, Tolumia, and it wasn't during the, uh, the last few weeks, couple of months or so, uh, that affected it. It, it was the, the very warm temperatures before, and, and of course, you know, I couldn't be here because I was doing all this travelling about, which I still am. Um, uh, and unfortunately, I lost that one. Now, the, this is Tolumia Peach, and this is back in the window, and that's the little baby part. So, this one's doing quite well. Uh, and what are we today? There we go 22.9, 79% humidity, and it's going to rain. Well, it's been raining all the time. We're in between showers. Look at this. Look at this. This is the. Um, this is this big one. Uh, grande. Good grande. See? I mean, I don't know what you'll see now. But look at that. Look at that growth there. I mean, you know, don't look at these leaves. There's two. That's the bank. Don't look at that. But, can you see the roots? I need to pull that little uh, sock down just to keep the algae off. Uh, the one that goes in there, that's the, um, it's the one down there, hmm, maxillary. 
I'll show you where that is in a minute. Get this one. Get this one. And I just have to, what I have to do with these? Uh, this is the uh, um, Rothianum. Phragmopedium Rothianum. And what I have to do with this one? I don't think I see there's an oil leaf coming up there. I have to um, just keep moss because it's it's wanting to climb. And there you see, can you see roots? And this is my big one, Elizabeth's March. I don't know if you see down there, can you? A new centre leaf. This one's. And this one was watered and fed yesterday. Well, as were all the frags. I've been slowly getting back to um, looking at them. Now, and this one, here we go. Now, this is the dendrobium. That one. Uh, now this is the dendrobium. Where's my dog? This is the. Um, hmm. oh, where's my dog? Anyway, I'll think about it when I when I put put it down. You see, I hope I've not lost the label. But look, look at that new growth. See, and and then I've got this in there. In the water culture, semi, semi hydro. And I just, I'll have to go and root for that now. It drives me crackers. Look, this one. I think this one is uh, huh. Chrysotoxum. I could be wrong, but look, another new growth. We've already got a new growth. That was gone up there. Can you see that one? And this one is uh, Dendrobium delicatum, this one. And look at that, another new growth, delicatum, look. Oops, that's not it. Where is it? Where is it? There. Look. And let's have a look over here. And there's another one. And this was, this was the one earlier this year. That's the... Uh, no ID, that's the nobly type. Oh, loads of cakeys. Well, I watered that yesterday. And let's go down to the middle shelf. Look at this. Can you see the new growth there? These, this one, this is a Cattleya Dusky Made by RLC Bruce Randall. And this will get watered out. Uh, probably not today. Probably not today. Vanda. Add is that happiness? Okay. So those bottom leaves are not brilliant, but it's it's got hydrated. Can you see? It looks a little bit worse for wear, but it isn't if you look down deep down. And let's look at this one. This is another one, and this one is uh, Vanda Kultana by Robert's Delight. And we've got some nice roots coming there. And again, look. So, oh, and this is the other, this is the other one. This is the, ah, look, can you see? This is the other um, Dusky Maid, another growth. This is the one that I split. Now, somehow I'm going to try and keep this over here. But never mind. And look at this one. And this is the a lady's falcata. And it's sending me those nice roots. And this one here. This is the one that I'm going to take downstairs in a minute. Can you see a little bit of mealy bug there? But I've got a new growth. Can you see the new growth? There. And I've got roots. I've got roots somewhere. <laughs> I've got roots, don't worry. 
I've got I definitely got roots. Um, and this is the uh, where is this one? Where's my label gone? Hmm. Yeah, see, there's another root there. I must root for my labels. I hate not having labels. Hmm. This, I believe, is a, is a cutting of um, Cattleya. I've got the one over there. Um, let me just have a look. Hold on. Cattleya. Percivaliana. Winter. Right. Right. So this one, this one at the back here, this is... Um, Procatavolia, Jarat Green Star, and I've got a new growth. Oh, where, where do you see it? Where do you see it down there? Just developing. Uh, that's finished its flowering, and I've cut it off. That's been watered today. That's a little phalaenopsis. No idea. This is the. Um, Rinko Cattleya Fushu Rinko Cattleyanthi Fushu Glory Happy Holiday And you're not going to believe that are you? Look Now you, you, you wouldn't have given that a cat and else chance But look I can't believe it And this one This is the one that uh, Rinko Lelia Cattleya I think Pink Empress of roots. That'll get watered at some point. The roots are going through. And that one is um, Cattleya violacea, intermediate of our rosea. And I don't like to mess with that. It's hanging on by a thread, but it's still hanging on. And right, Pathiopedlums. There's another one. There's another one. And we'll be able to show you in there. Doesn't look brilliant, does it? But look, oh, it's probably not light enough. But that that's a bulbophyllum, and it sent me a new leaf up. And there's that one. I need to check them. Need to water them. And. Here we go. This one's doing well. This is Pulcherima. Var Maramota. Look. Uh, that's just a little phalaenopsis. Um, that's my hmm, Selogeny. Bertha Dienzi. Look. There. And there. That needs watering. This one, I think. This is the uh, Caesis Lemingii. And a little new green shoot. Right, so these are two of the uh, Cattleyas that uh, I'm trying to pull through. These are um, RLC Yen 24K. So, uh, and up on the top shelf here. This is the uh, hmm, Plurothallis Restopoides. This one. Look at that. New growth. This is the uh, Dendrobium Thrissiflorum. And that's its first new growth. This one, that caused all the trouble last year. Look at the growth. No idea what this is. Some kind of oncidium type, but it's doing well. Here's the other Vanda Cortana Gold by Dr. Anne Heck. And can you see? And of course, these are these are the ones on the top shelf. These are all kind of um, Kingianums. Um, could be dancing ladies. I know one of them is a um, cochleata. 
I'm not sure. I've got two. There. The summer phalaenopsis. That one. And that one. So, oh, and that's this one. Really, the barter. And, see? And this big one here is, let's have a look. I think this is longer folding times Sidenia. But look. It might not look like anything. But I tell you, my frags and my orchids must sense. I'm sure we've got a connection, you know. I'm absolutely positive. Because they knew that I wouldn't be available. So, and what did they do? They didn't keel over and die. No. They waited patiently. And okay, so, some of these bottom leaves, you know. They're, they're the worst for wear. But, they all waited. They all waited for me. And I'm so happy. That one there in the corner, that's Richteri. And what's this one? What's this one? I've got the label the wrong way around. Uh, Las Varinas. See? And that one, the first one I've just shown you is uh, Garen Weaver. And so yesterday I've watered these and fed them and um, I've started to hang them again now because um, hopefully I'll be able to, you know, check them if only once a week. And that's the, uh, the Phalaenopsis Shulian uh, silver wings or silver leaf or something. I repotted that yesterday. And so these, some of these are empty. That's because, that's because some of them are outside. And oh, here we go. You see this one here? Ah, this one. Look at that. And that's the uh, Maxillaria um, Memoria Bembalina. And that hangs in that bowl over there. And, um, but I took it out because it was getting too wet. And so I've just hung it there. Here we go. These are, these are some of the um, lovely uh, frags that I had from Clive. And this is Beauport. And again, you see, but this, this little one wants to climb out. I think most of these are boat ports. Can you see? And look at this one at the back. Look. So what I did yesterday is, you know, see, can you see those pots there? And so I, I, they were hanging too low. So I, I've had to bring one of these through and elevate them. So I think they're going to be all right. And okay, now this is the shelf that needs to be looked at later. And that's just a phalaenopsis. Did we have a label for that? Oh yes, we've got a label. Let's see, oh, this is the, bo this is the one I called Bucks face. All right. Now he's not getting any water today because I've done enough today. Look, let me see. Look at that one. This is the one that um, I called sweetheart. And it's in that big pot there. There's no media in there. And look. It's not dropped one bloom yet, and, and what I did is um, when I water them, the water goes in here, and then after I feel as though 
they've absorbed enough, then I elevate them. That, that one there is um, Delosa. So that's Delosa. Bear with me a minute. And this one. This one is um, Brasso Catlianthi Jarak Firestar. And there we are, that's Percivaliana. And you see, I've got uh, new growths. And this one, look at this, scented this is. Oh, I can't tell you. My beautiful orchids, Luke. And this one is uh, Leodora, the scented one. And Luke. And we've got another little one coming there. So, and this one, under here, Luke, water culture. This is one I had from a colleague when I retired four years ago. And I've put it in here, and Luke, that's the first time it's bloomed. These have been cleaned. And, and this is Sideria japonica. And Luke, look how they're all doing. And let's just go on the bottom shelf. Uh, this is uh, hmm. um, it's a no, it's, I think it's just a no ID fellow opposite. And Luke, that's a King Yanum. And this one is hmm, that's a species one. And it likes cool conditions. And it, it's called Lelia autonomous. So there we go. So that's going to be my grow room update. And like I say, that's another little, uh, that's a berry odour. So the ones that have fared well. Well, they've all fared well. I can't complain about anyone, any of them. But uh, come this next autumn, I'm going to have to zone this room somehow. Look at that one. That's Selogeny. Oh, Selogeny Speciosa. Look at that. That will get, that will get some water today, but I don't overwater it. And this is Lelia Labarta, the one from Brazil. I need a mount for that. I need a mount. But well, I've only got a little tiny mount, so I've got to think about that. And here's another little Phalaropsis. And two more uh, King Yanum types. And um, Angaricum sesquipedali. Look at that, that loves it. That loves it. Nice green root there. Yeah. Where is it? There. Can you see? <laughs> and and of course, that's the uh, Hoya pubicalis, lap dragon. Right. Sorry, it's a long video, folks. But there we go. And thank you for joining me. And onwards and upwards. And I'll, and I'll be back soon. Bye bye now.